Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. You get a good night's sleep? Actually, I did. Got a phone call from Dan Burbank last night. He's jazzed. We're ready to go. How about you? Good night's sleep. Don, good morning. Can you tell us what we're about to do? about to do the cosmonauts breakfast. This is a breakfast that is done uh, as a, a celebration for the departing crew uh, before we, uh, as we leave uh, Star City to go to Baikonur. And so everybody's here, my family's here, uh, cosmonauts and astronauts are here, and uh, we're, we're going to uh, do this breakfast and then uh, get on a plane and go to Baikonur. <laughs> Andre, good morning. In English and Dutch, can you tell us what's about to happen? Uh, well, this is the famous breakfast that we never eat. <laughs> yeah, this is, of course, the, the last uh, um, moment in Star City before we go to Baikonur. And uh, that's a very special moment where everybody's together, also the families. And a uh, beautiful breakfast table, but there's no time to eat it. Uh, we have some speeches um, and a moment of silence, and uh, and then we uh, say goodbye uh, to the family, and, uh, and then go to Baikonur. So it's uh, always a very interesting moment, uh, one of the nicest. I know, Nederlands. <laughs> Can I have that in Dutch? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ja, wat we hier, uh, wat we hier hebben is uh, een van de, de, de laatste tradities zeg maar, van, uh, van Sterrenstad. We hebben een fantastisch ontbijt, dat we overigens niet opeten. Uh, we komen allemaal samen met, uh, met allerlei uh, mensen, managers uh, en, uh, en natuurlijk de familie. En dan uh, uh, worden speeches gehouden. Uh, het gaat allemaal redelijk snel en vervolgens uh, uh, nog even een moment stilte en dan uh, gaan we naar de bussen toe. En dan is het uh, voorbij in Sterrenstad. En dan zitten we in Baikonur uh, voor twee weken. Oké? Okay? Oh, okay. oh, the, the, the boys like it. And I forget that that's how it used to be. <laughs> Okay. okay, so give a command to your crew members. Please, everyone, get in. First, the crew. Okay. Please go in. The crew first. The crew members. The crew and their family members. Yeah, we usually meet at the farewell to the crew ceremony. Thank you.
Part of it's crew rest, gives your brain a little break from all the training. But then uh, we continue to do training. I'm going to be doing last minute uh, review for the epic cards on the CNC MDMs, uh, getting these aids repaired on orbit so we could get on with the mission. Well, the fact that I flew one time before, like all of us, I think is very advantageous uh, because it takes you less time to, uh, to adapt. So we can uh, start uh, working uh, much earlier, which we'll actually do in the first two weeks straight away. Uh, so that is the big advantage uh, of it. And uh, uh, of course, uh, that I fly the second time, I, I feel like a member uh, of a very international uh, group of people. And uh, uh, so not particularly because I'm a Dutch astronaut, I'm a European, I'm a member of the ISS, uh, big, big ISS group. Uh, so, for Kolansky. Um, uh, ja, de tweede keer vliegen betekent dat ik uh, sneller gewend zal zijn. Ik weet waar ik heen ga. Ik kan dus ook veel sneller uh, beginnen met, uh, met werken. En dat moeten we ook. We hebben al een vol programma de, meteen de eerste twee weken. Dus wat dat betreft is dat een groot voordeel. Uh, het feit dat ik de tweede, de, de Nederlander ben, de tweede Nederlander die de tweede keer, of de eerste Nederlander die de tweede keer vliegt, uh, betekent niet al te veel. Omdat ik uh, een Europeaan voel, een van de Europese astronauten. En in, dit, uh, in deze context zeker een astronaut van het internationale ruimtestation. Er zijn echt een internationale groep mensen. En ik ben blij dat ik daar een deel van uit kan maken. So uh, during the training, how comfortable do you feel when you are all together? Well, we are friends, so we are comfortable. So it's very good for us to work together as a team, as all crews that are on board and the crew that is on board right now. Uh, yes, of course, we are friends. So your mood and the mood of your crew, what you can say about that. We have a positive mood. We have already been uh, on the station, so we understand what we are going to face. Uh, so we have positive emotions, and we are looking forward to our future work. 
Ну, есть утвержденный полет. Uh, so do we have a там, uh, достаточно... program, a schedule of the flight? Of course, we have a confirmed schedule of the flight. Uh, so there are payload experiments and EVs and uh, activities, and also we will receive uh, cargo vehicles, Russian and American. Ну, я не знаю, что вы имеете в виду по талисману. Do you have a mascot uh, for your crew? Uh, well, I don't know what you mean. Uh, by a mascot. We have many uh, things and uh, signs that we will will be uh, will give us an opportunity to understand that we are already in an open space. So we don't need a toy or a mascot actually to understand that. Thanks a lot. Okay, goodbye. Good luck. So is everyone inside? Okay, close the doors of the bus.